good morning everybody i am pradeep kachya working as a head of the department dr subhas science college bhakta kavi affiliated with the bhakta kavi nursery mehta university junagadh in this video today i am going to talk with endangered and endemic species of india india is being on the richest biodiversity see the support enormous biological wealth approximately 17 lakh 53739 species extinct all over the world it has been estimated that the 1 lakh 34781 species in india is extinct over the year the biological diversity undergoing great threats due to the anthropogenic disturbance they should on species richness india is one among the 25 mega diversity country of the world not only india reaching biodiversity this diversity declining or depleting in around in the red this should on the declining of species diversity india is also considered as the one of the hottest hotspot of the world out of 34 global hotspot identify so four on the basis of richness of diversity and hence of declining the diversity are interesting of species for our living india so first of all we know about the biodiversity bio means life and diversity means variety in the earth living organism so many types of living organism are there and they are different type of variety it means the biodiversity biodiversity is a variety of different type of life found on the earth is the simplest definition of the biodiversity and the variation within the species because of the different different type of species are there so it called the variation of the species within species it is the measure of the variety of organism present in the different type of ecosystem ecosystem means the on the earth uh, earth has different type of ecosystem are there like aquatic ecosystem desert ecosystem terrestrial ecosystem that's like and conservation means what is the conservation conservation means the protect the species because the species are uh, categorized ioc and red list and some species are extinct that's why conservation is needed now we discuss about rich biodiversity of india because in, uh, in all, all all over the world 35 biodiversity hotspot are there but india has four biodiversity hotspot we discuss earlier and we discuss today also india has india has 350 mammals in our compared to all over the world species 350 mammals 1224 bird species 197 amphibian species 408 reptile species 2546 fish species and 15000 15000 flowering plants it has india has so why all species are endangered because of the some criteria are there endangered endangered means this figure shows the help us help means to to help because of the some species are danger some uh, anthropogenic pressure are there so species save the life that's why help us the endangered species are those living organism which are almost on the verge of extinction 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 means to destroy or to fail to not survive on the earth thousand of species of plants and animal are endangered and the number increase each year this sentence uh, this sentence is shows the many, many of the species are to extinct every year 
this is the world endangered species uh, in uh, so the figures so many species are totally extinct on the uh, so, uh, totally endangered in the world because the uh, see like the panda cobra some elephants some aquatic life also dolphin whale shark seal turtle some atlantic uh, sloth bear they are the endangered critically endangered and endemic endemic means this figure shows the compared to this figure endangered and endemic this endemic uh, figures also it it is too light means we are not save this species when a species is found only a particular geographical region because of the some uh, uh, the endemic means it is the seen only on particular location like example wise we can see the asiatic lion asiatic lion is the native or terrestrial uh, particular this region is the gear okay so we can not seen everywhere this species that's why the endemic because the but it's seen only particular area when a species is found only a particular geographical region because it is isolation soil and climatic condition it is said to become endemic because the particular area this species is seen now biodiversity what's what in india because the, we are discussed also in previous lecture but today is mandatory for us because the we we know about the biodiversity what's what biodiversity what's what in india is first one is the himalaya himalaya number one is himalaya which can quote the entire indian himalayan region it is in the upper part of the uh, indian map and the himalaya himalaya region is the entire himalayan region so the eastern himalayan region is the home to all 30, 63 globally threatened species in particular this area 63 globally threatened species including s asian three great herbivores la herbivores and the asiatic uh, animal or asian animal the great one of hornbill rhinos and the world water buffaloes the largest carnivores so many species are there okay the second one is the indo burma includes the entire north eastern india except the assam and andaman group of island this hot spot is hold remember endemism fresh water turtle species most of which are threatened which extinction bird life in indo burma it is also incredible diversity holding almost the 1300 bird species now third one is this sundaland sundaland region include the nicobar group of island sundaland contribute this Sundaland contribute the contribute the spectac uh, spectacular flora and fauna. The last refuge of the two South Eastern Asian rhino species and also found in the island of the Java and Sumatra. Number four is the Western Ghat of Sri Lanka. Western Ghat includes the entire Western Ghats. Western Ghat is considered as a one of the hottest hotspot in the world. Its unique characteristic for Western Ghat. Here the estimation 18,000 species of flowering plants reported from the India out of 4,500 species are found in the Western Ghats and majority are them endemic because it is only seen in the particular Western Ghat area. Now cause of endangered because the habitat main point comes from endangered habitat destruction habitat destruction means some species are uh, live in particular habitat so we can destruct its habitat so species can automatically extinct or endangered category 
and second one is over exploitation over exploitation means the hunting over like a species that face or exploitation is one that may become severely endangered or even extinct due to the rare rate in which a species is being used like example of some fishes fishes are uh, over exploitation like uh, over over fishing and the species uh, uh, fish species are danger that's why all exploitation is also the species uh, extinct or endangered criteria cause for species becoming endangered like we are discuss just hunting pollution urbanization some pollution are also affected because the in particular we uh, we discuss about the uh, aquatic area or nearby sea area so many uh, so many industries are there and industrial affluence is easily to uh, move in sea that's why some species are not survive in in your native habitat and they extinct for their habitat urbanization urbanization also cause the uh, disturbance of species because the species are not uh, survive uh, look like uh, the one example of the, the one plant are there and uh, some uh, industry or some uh, urbanization come from uh, this area the plant is uh, cut and the uh, plant species some species survive on the plant they are extinct or moving somewhere or they endangered effect on nature like some effect also on nature because the disruption of food chain and food web their absence of hamper national wealth and affect the national biodiversity also because the species is when uh, all living organism are used or are help to nature in ecological imbalance because some species are dead some example some uh, some uh, uh, grazer animals are extinct so grazing not grazing properly and there some carnivores are also extinct a species is not extinct species means a species is not definitely located in the wild and never sight even once in last 50 years because the species are not seen uh, in the wild top 10 most endangered mammal like bengal tiger asiatic lion bengal tiger means its uh, particular area is bengal asiatic lions it is located only in gujarat there are endemic species snow leopard in seen himachal pradesh only black bug tamil nadu red panda sikkim one one rhinos rhinoceros assam the nilgiri thar nilgiri hills kashmiri red snake jammu and kashmir lion tail macaw in kerala and indian bison in chennai the top endangered top most endangered mammals in india they are particular area endemic species of india some photograph are so tiger indian wild dog snow leopard golden langur black bug asiatic lion they are the endemic species some indian peacocks lion tail macaw indian elephants indian cobra these are the species to particular area and critically endangered species means amur leopard hawksbill turtle leatherback turtle cross river gorilla sumatra tiger jawans rhino these are these are the critically endangered species this one also critically endangered species the endangered species is is to uh, if we are not save this species then this species are extinct the ganga's river dolphin amur tiger royal bengal tiger black footed ferret blue whale blue fin tuna 
some giant pandas, no leopard, are the critically endangered species. And vulnerable species means dugong, great wild shark, red panda, wild shark, polar bear, dolphin, some. Here the WWF means the World Wide Fund for uh, Federation or World Wide Fund for Nature. This WWF published the one containing the detail of endangered and threatened species of flora and fauna called the Red Data Book or Red List Book. Here we can see what is the Red Data Book or how can we justify the species are endangered or endemic or vulnerable so international union for conservation of nature and natural resources means iucn that is the iucn at, uh, as categorize a red list of the threatened species into the different group they should on the nature that is number one extinct species Number two is the, the categorized by IUCN. Number two means endangered species. Number three is vulnerable species. Number four means the rare species. Number five means endemic species. That categorized by IUCN. The India is one of the most important among by 12 mega diversity countries in the world because the india has richest biodiversity thank you thank you so much and now we all are save animals and save the world because the no animals no life in the on the world thank you